Yo, what's up? This is your boy, Derek Bridge here. Same discussions on Strike Seven Sports. And then as we want to talk about um, what went down the day for the uh, New Orleans Saints. Today was the first day of mandatory mini camp sessions. First day that the team will um, get together, work on some things, you know, workouts, you know, certain play concepts, um, defense, you know, new players getting familiar with the scheme. Um, players just, you know, the team getting used to used to being around each other once again before they take off for the other than the last vacation before they go into training camp and things really get serious. But today I just want to just provide some, you know, news and notes of what occurred on that day, on today, uh, first day of uh, many camp for the New Orleans Saints. So uh, Rashid, Rashid, he, you know, the big player wide out, talented guy that everybody, a lot of people have in. High expect, expectations on for this upcoming season was not there, according to Dennis Allen. He was he was out because of a groin injury, and hopefully he will be back by training camp. Now I know a lot of y'all people, you know, about to freak out already once they heard that, and they be like, "Oh, be like, oh, here we go again." You know, another injured player. Let's hold off on that for right now, man. Let's just hope that this guy get healthy, get back out there. Take his time. Don't need to rush it. They definitely, you know, come out there and tweak something else and make it worse than what it was. But, I mean, I wouldn't think put that much thought into that. Um, he was, wasn't there last week, so that's that. Kendrick Miller was a present rookie, second-year running back. Well, first-year running back. You know, Benjamin, Nick Salvadori. Trevor Penny, Miller, Forrestale were among those present, uh, but not nah, they didn't do any work. Cam Jordan was also on, on the scene, but um, only did stretches. Um, now, what else you, now, something else you put out, you know, about Dennis Allen was that uh, Ted Ginn was on there, the former Saints wide receiver who um, played, I, be, I believe, from the years of 2017 to I think he was on the team in 2019, 2020, 2020 team, the last team that made the last, you know, push toward the Super Bowl, if I'm not mistaken. But he was in camp today just to, you know, come out there and assist, you know, with the, um, the younger guys and, you know, veteran, sure, veteran presence, you know, know how he's familiar with the system. So they may bring him back, you know, for some more sessions, but Dennis Allen said he'll see. So this probably be a, you know, gateway for uh, – Again, to become, you know, a potential coach in the future, you know, assistant coach, a position coach, you know, just in turn, get on, learn how things go and see how it play out from there. But um, good to have Ted again in the back of the building and Taysom Hill. So this for all, this is a different tone, different shift. And to me, a different, this is a different shift in Dennis Allen's tone towards Taysom, Taysom Hill, because you remember last year at uh, the league's ownership owners meeting, I think it was, he said, he was saying that he was going to play tight end and not have anything to do with the quarterback role. But when the season went on, you know, that shifted again because, you know, they put Taysom Hill, that, that Taysom Hill playing running back. They had him playing wide receiver for a little bit. They had him playing tight end. He played a little bit of quarterback. So he had to, you know, change his tone, wants to change his tone during the off the regular season. And now we're glad like he's, you know, finally bought into what Taysom Hill can do this, for this football team. So I'm just going to read the quote. Uh, uh, the piece, the write-up that John Sigler, uh, not John Sigler, but um, John Hendricks from uh, Saints News Network put out on the, the Taysom Hill's um, info. Taysom Hill is going to fill a lot of different roles this year. He was with the quarterback and tight ends, even getting reps in 7-on-7, seven seven, Dennis Allen said. Quote, he's going to get, he's going to get getting quarterback work. He's going to be getting tight end work. He'll move. He'll be. He'll be a move guy for us. He'll have some of the quarterback run stuff that we do with him. We'll work with him in the passing game. End quote. He was also the primary personal punt protector during the drills. So this is how Sean Payton, when he was here, 
He utilized Taysom Hill. He just put him all over the field. You know, had him playing wide receiver, put him in the slot, shoot, put him on the outside, had him doing run, you know, run blocking, gunner, blocking punts, you know, tight end, a little bit of quarterback, quarterback power, quarterback sneak. They just had Taysom Hill all over the place. And to me, that's the best way to utilize Taysom Hill. Don't don't try to don't get caught up in your pride and you know minimize what the dude can do. You're paying him, you're paying him this all this money, all this money. You might as well get the most out of him, you know, while he's still you know a functional player, you know, right now. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know how long he's gonna have left to be, you know, that type of player where you can just put him all over the place, you know. And he has a lot of usage, you know what I'm saying? So it is just only a matter of time before you're really going to have to, like, minimize his role and put him in a spot where you, best, you believe that he can contribute at. And that just will be one position, you know what I'm saying? Because he's, he's has, he has so much mileage during his time with the Saints and where Sean Payton has utilized, utilized him all over the field. So good um, – Shifting uh, tone by Dennis, Dennis Allen in regards to the uses of uh, Taysom Hill. So, Alvin Kamara, I think this is the first day that Alvin Kamara was in uh, in, a, in the Saints facility once again. And he, he this is his first interact. I would say his first time working with Derek Carr in regards to, you know, drills and just to get a feel for each other and how they can, you know, Come and become in sync on uh, offense, and to look from based on what I've seen, what I've heard today in the presser, is that Derek Carr was pretty impressed by what uh, Alvin Kamara can do. And I know that situation is still an ongoing, you know, thing, uh, an ongoing matter on the off the field when it comes to that situation. But this, like I've said in the past, you know, I've said that I just think he'll have you know six to eight game suspension. For the most part, and I think this 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 could help Alvin Kamar. You know what I'm saying? Help his his longevity because while he's suspended, while he's out, he's still fresh. You know what I'm saying? He's still fresh. He's not being, you know, utilized as a as a bell cow running back or you know, have him out there running between twackles. He'll be suspended out of you know out of the league for that time being, and Getting fresh, being he's a fresh body, you know. While you got guys like, you know, you have Kendrick Miller, you know, young back, um, uh, things like 21 years old, if I'm not mistaken, you know, Kendrick Miller, Jamal Williams. So, this in fact, this is this impending suspension, in fact, you know, in my opinion, helps Alvin Kamara, it helps the Saints as well. You know, I know you don't have you don't have that element. You know, during throughout the season while he is suspended, but to me, you don't need Alvin Kamara. You know, the the backs that are behind that are behind Alvin Kamara. You don't really need that skill set to win games. You know, those guys don't need that skill set to help the Saints win games. And just got to be productive and consistent. You know, so hopefully this stuff will play out um, for the good for the Saints on the positive side for the Saints when he. Once he comes back from his um potential his possible suspension, but um other than that, man, you know that was pretty much it. You know Michael Thomas and uh Derek Carr, you know still getting familiar with with, with each other, still you know trying to figure each other out, get a feel for one another in the passing game. And look, at this this could be something. This could be a passing combo that's similar to what we had in uh. Michael Thomas and Drew Brees, where the chemistry was just so tight and just on point that teams couldn't really stop it. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully, man, I'm not saying Thomas is going to get back to that 2019 level, but if we could get, you know, glimpses of that during the regular season, you know, possibly the playoffs, I think it's going to help this team a lot. You know, it's just, it really is. So, a lot to look forward to. It's only day one of a uh, day of a uh, mandatory uh, mini camps, and there'll be more news and notes coming throughout the week. 
from the team and i'll be here to break it all down with y'all so that's all i have for right now all right so i have for y'all right like i said just a, that's all i got for y'all for right now you may like comment subscribe to the channel let me know how y'all feel also this is the standalone same discussions website it's finally back it's here for good after working out all the kinks um it'll be a go-to place for all things to all saints um game previews editorials opinion pieces um all kind of stuff friends you know fan, you know any, anything that saints fancy football related would be on that site as well so check it out bookmark it at saintsdiscussions.com so no more strike seven sports you know sports slash saints and the going forward is saintsdiscussions.com it still falls under the strike seven sports banner but it's his own separate outlet. So looking forward to seeing y'all check it out. Have a blessed day. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Who that?